around me and my friends having a picnic. We've got drinks and we've got food and we're listening to each other tell stories and singing songs. And this reminds me of when Jesus was with his friends and told his friends lots and lots of stories. Everybody was sat close together and they were squashed and they were listening to Jesus talk. But soon, even though Jesus was talking, all you could hear was the sounds of people's bellies rumbling because they were so, so hungry. They felt like they'd not eaten in ages. And so, one of Jesus' friends comes up to him and whispers in his ears, We're so hungry! We need food! And Jesus is like, Okay, we'll go get some then. But they were in the middle of nowhere. There was not a shop to be found. So Jesus' friends walked through the crowd and they asked people, Have you got any food? Have you got any food? But everybody was hungry and everybody said no. Till eventually, after a long, long time, a little boy went up to Jesus and said, I have five loaves and two fishes. And Jesus thought, I know what to do here. And Jesus took the food from the little boy and he prayed over it. And he thanked God for the food and prayed that it would feed all of these hungry people. And that's exactly what happened. The boy, Jesus' friends, they went round and they gave everybody some bread and some fish. And there was even lots and lots left over. And that's really important to learn because it doesn't matter how big or how small we are, or how big or how little we have, we can still use it to help do God's work and to help feed other people. So we have to share what we have, no matter how big or how small we are, because that way we can help Jesus love everybody around us, no matter where we're from in the world. Well, thank you for listening. We've, um, we're going to go back to our picnic now and we hope you enjoyed the story. See you later. Bye.